watching this, I've just been arrested. My name's Ruben Barrera, 17 years old. I am undocumented and afraid. Even applying to college was really hard for me because um, whenever there was um, school funding, when it, whenever it was cut, you know, whoever it was hit hardest was, you know, the undocumented students because uh, the counselor that we had at the time, you know, didn't really reach out to undocumented students. And as an undocumented student in high school, you don't really, you don't really come out to your counselor or to really to anybody. And um, it was hard. I, I didn't know how to apply at first. And um, I found it that I had to do most of it by myself, even, even with programs that I went to with the mentors that I had, um, they really didn't know my struggle. They really, I couldn't relate to them. And I found that I had to r write my essays, my personal statements on my own. And it was, it was really hard to um, you know, work with anybody because um, my story was a lot different than any other, any other student, simply because I was born to somewhere else. And you know, all my life I lived here. I was brought here at the age of one, you know. So um, I don't know how I identify myself. I was born in Mexico, yet not one memory of Mexico. I don't have one memory. And I don't have, I can't call myself American. You know what, no, I'm not gonna cry. Because I'm not sad. Or I'm not. I just feel so angry. You know. That it's taken this far. It's, it's taking us to the limit. Where. We have to get arrested. To show people. That. That's wrong. To criminalize. The documented people. And make. Profit. Out of, out of people's misery. And it's, it's time for us to stop standing in the sidelines. It's time for us to act, to educate ourselves. If there's not a community built for us, and we build a community within ourselves. You know, it's constant struggle. And uh, I think I have a privilege to voice my opinion. Now there's a lot of people out there that would love to do what I'm doing. Unfortunately, they're out there working, you know, two jobs, trying to provide for their family. And that's what I'm doing it for. For the people that can't voice their opinion. I'm doing it for the thousands of hornaleros that are out there just waiting for that truck to come by so that maybe they can get that job for tonight. So that maybe they get that money so they can provide for their family food for that week. Or hopefully, um, you know, they can make it through the, to the month, or just even pay for rent. And it's you know it's a reality, and it's something that not a lot of people see, that they don't take into account, the countless struggles that they face. And I'm I'm tired of it, and it shouldn't take a high school student to say that. You know, it's something that. That's really hard now, uh, to judge. You know, and when you put a face to it, it really, um, I don't know, it hits, it hits people. And hopefully with, with this action, you know, they, they get to understand and we reach out to more people. You know, like, it's just, they're building more, more of these detention centers. And, they, and the only reason they're doing this is to benefit from, uh, to, uh, gain money and just, I don't know how greedy they could be, you know, if they, if they if this was their, their own sons, their own daughters, they will understand, they will understand how hard it is, and I would never wish anyone to, to experience something like that, and the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want the undocumented community to to live like this anymore. And I want to empower others. 
Because that's really important in our community to embrace that we are undocumented. And although we are undocumented, you know, and the, uh, although we, we face these obstacles, you know, that are, are put in our way, we're still gonna go to college and we're still gonna continue our education. We're still gonna continue the fight. And that's what makes us stronger, you know. And it's, it, it makes us who we are. It makes, it made me who I am. And if I wasn't undocumented, I wouldn't be here making this video. I wouldn't want to empower others because being a document has made me who I am and I'm proud of it. And although I'm still contemplating on what my what I did what I am identify myself as, I'm proud of being who I am. But I'm proud of bearing this mark. This mark that I have right here. Although I don't understand why I have it, although I I don't understand where I was born or what roots I come from. It's okay. No, because as long as I know where I'm at here, then I know that I'll never give up. <laughs> My name's Ruben. I'm a document I'm afraid. And um, I dedicate this action to uh, the undocumented people who are yet to find their voice. Join me in this movement and embrace who you are.